get on with the things of actual importance. This gun mod does seem to at least fit the hunter part of Vampire Hunter rather well. It will likely be a valuable addition. I'm not quite sure what Serene brings to the table, but that will likely be revealed soon enough. We're two for two. It's time to return to East Run and figure out what we're going to do next. A vampire? That wouldn't be... Serana, was it? That... is a whole lot to process. The vampires are seeking to control the sun. If they can accomplish that, none of us would be safe. All would be prey, and their numbers would swell. People would join them to save themselves, or to gain standing in the new order of the world. No matter how impossible it may seem, Eastron should be taking them at their word on this point. I can understand his reluctance, however. The vampires had the supposed key to all of this in their grasp when Serana returned to them. How could they allow her to leave? Especially with the Elder Scroll in hand? Is this some sort of trick? Is finding this moth priest just a bluff to get us to waste time and resources looking? Is Serana perhaps a spy? Will she return to her castle with the details of the operations here? We can't know for sure. But we cannot afford to be wrong and not investigate this further. And if it is true... We have been very fortunate for Serana to turn coat like this. We must keep a keen eye on her, not let her out of our or the Dawn God's sight. Hmm. Seems this moth priest had an entire entourage. Sirdil's best and brightest, do you think? Now that is awfully convenient. Ready yourself. An ambush likely awaits us at this Four Bears holdout. That's the trash dealt with. Now to get this moth priest out of here. It seems that Serana's story has been proven true thus far. I dread to think what could have happened had we not been here to prevent it. Rail's bow. It is familiar to me. Legends speak of the time when Trinimac tore out Lorcan's heart and Oriel shot it into the Eastern Sea. The very same heart that Dwemer would find beneath Red Mountain. The very same heart that Tribunal and Dagoth Ur would siphon power from. But I digress. The weapon is otherwise unknown to me. I wonder how it ties into the prophecy itself. I must find these other two scrolls. Somehow. It's likely much easier said than done. Following a vampire headfirst into a dark, cramped part of their own castle seems like an exceedingly stupid idea to me. However, Serana did seemingly tell the truth about the vampire's plans, and I don't believe we have any other lead at this point in time. I won't say I trust her, but I am willing to at least follow this particular lead. Vigilance.